Welcome back to my channel, A Fairy Tale Mind in the Real World. My name is Rena, and today I'm going to give you my TBR for the near future ish. Um, so I know that some people do like monthly TBRs and everything, but I don't know that I'll get everything read in a month, and I don't want to like push myself to do that, especially since. Sorry, my cat. Making a camera move. Hit the itch. Anyways, um, so I want to do a TBR of books that I'm just interested in reading right now, whether it's because of my newts challenge I just did, or because some friends recommended it to me, or something like that. Excuse me, there's a few books that I wanted to read while I was doing my newts challenge, but I wanted to focus on my newts challenge, so I didn't read them. Yay me. So I'm going to read them now. So I will be showing you my books that I'm planning on reading. Um, so the first one that I have here is the Fruits Basket series by uh, Natsuki Takaya. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, but if you haven't heard about this, it's a manga about a girl who gets involved with the family who actually are the um, incarnations of the Zodiac. Uh, so basically it's kind of their lives and how she affects them and it's such a good book. It can get a little dark. But oh my gosh, it's such a good series. Like, I own all of them. A friend got um, the uh, fancy version, advanced version, I forget what it's called. They got the extra version, and so they gave me their old, which I love, and I'm so happy that I have it. So, that's my first book. I planned on where I was going to have the books, and I didn't plan on where I was going to put them. My bad. <laughs> Anyway, so the next book is The Silent Mermaid by Brittany Fichter. Just look at that cover. Look how gorgeous that is. So Brittany Fichter, I was looking at my books that are on the shelf right here. So I own some of her other books. This is actually one of the few authors where I bought her books without reading her before, which I know is odd, but I'm pretty sure she's only online. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but she basically does retellings of fairy tales, which is my favorite thing. So her first series, she has a trilogy. Her first trilogy was just like a story of like Beauty and the Beast. And it was um, a trilogy based on that couple. So I really enjoyed that. And I really like her style. And so I decided to get the rest of her books. So I'm working on it. This is the second book of her second trilogy. So the first trilogy is um, Beauty the Held, Blinding Beauty, and Before Beauty. I said that backwards. Before Beauty, Blind Beauty, and Beauty the Held. <laughs> um, the next trilogy, Cat, go. I'm so sorry. Stop. Stop. She's on my bookshelves and she's being as troublesome as possible. She's a cat. What do you expect? So anyway, so then the second series starts with The Girl in the Red Hood, which is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. Shocker there. And then this is the second Silent Mermaid, a retelling of the Little Mermaid. Besides Beauty and the Beast, it's a retelling of um, The Princess and the Glass Hill and Hansel and Gretel. Those are the other two in the Beauty and the Beast trilogy. So I'm excited to read these. I've actually had this for a while, but then I started doing the reading challenges and therefore was not able to read this because it um, I didn't choose it for one of the challenges. So I'm excited to finally read this. Next we have two, the next two books in that Darcy trilogy that I mentioned, so um, Duty and Desire and These Three Remain by Pamela Aiden. So these are the two books, like I said, I read the first one for uh, Newt's and I thought it was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like great, but at the same time it was just kind of quiet, if that makes sense, and I really enjoyed reading it, so I was like, okay. I need to read the rest of them. So I just borrowed them from the library. I knew that since I was near the end of my newts challenge, I'd be able to hopefully read them within the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so I'm planning on reading those, and I'm actually kind of excited. It was kind of fun. Like I said, I don't necessarily agree with everything that she did from Mr. Darcy's perspective, but it was still really good in terms of like, you know, following the culture and everything. It was kind of fun. I had some references that kind of crossed into Newt's Emerald by Garth Nix. I kind of, like, just references to things in that era, so I thought that was, that was fun to kind of get, recognize it from other historical fantasy that I've read. Sorry, my third cat is, um, pawing under the door. She can't stand close to us. Just, just one <laughs> Sorry about that, but now Pippi is gone and Peony's in, so hopefully there will be no more rummaging of the camera. 
on to the next one. So this, I did an unboxing for the Lit Joy Crate of July, which was very late because it is now the end of August, probably the beginning of September by the time you watch this, and, and that movie, video, thing. So, video, it's not a movie, it's a video. Oh, there she is, a little kitten. Yes, you are precious. Anyways, so this book was from the July box. Shatter the Sky by Rebecca Kim Wells. And this is really, first of all, I love dragon books, and this has dragons in it. And this is about a girl whose girlfriend is kidnapped by, like, the religious people. Arati, Ar Arati the prophetic agents of the emperor. So, <laughs> this girl decides to steal one of the emperor's dragons and get her girlfriend back. So that sounds pretty exciting, so I'm actually, and it's not too big of a read, which I'm kind of surprised by. It also makes me a little wary, because I'm kind of like, um, might be nice. I don't know, I'm a little wary, but the story premise and how small this book is, I'm just wondering if things might not get a little rushed. We'll see, I will withhold judgment until I actually read it. Then I have An Enchantment of Ravens and Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, and I'm so excited for these. So I actually got this in one of the uh, Lit Joy Crate books of the month. I think it was May, May or June. I don't remember. I just know I got it, and I'm so excited because this is beautiful, and I'm so excited to read the story. And I haven't read this one yet either, but I bought it anyways because it's beautiful, and I want to read it. <laughs> I know that's a horrible reason for buying a book, but you know, if nothing, if I don't actually like it for some reason, it's still beautiful, so you can at least enjoy that. And sometimes it's nice to own, like, I have had instances where I want to buy books and read books again that I don't like, because sometimes you just need to torture yourself, okay? <laughs> so, um, those are on my list as well, and I'm very, very excited to get to these. Next, we have, well, actually, this is the last, these are the last books on my list. Brissinger and Inheritance by Christopher Paolini. I cannot wait to finish this. I got sucked back into the world with my Newt's Challenge. Uh, I just I love these books. I grew up reading them, and when they came out, like, I just love them. I love how you see the growth. I love the story. I love how it ended up. I know some people were kind of put off by how he did that, but honestly, I think that's a huge thing. Like, Galbert Horks was basically defeated by having to face the truth of his actions. Like, he pretty much envisioned himself as a good guy, like, doing good things for his country. And he was so far in the wrong. I mean, he was an evil, like, evil person. And it just, it was such a simple solution. And it wasn't even meant to overthrow him, but that is exactly what it did, because he had to face, like, every amount of pain and anguish and suffering he had caused his people and the world around him during his reign. And it was just such a, I think it was a fitting end, because he didn't really take any of that into account, you know? So I just thought it was a beautiful ending. Sad, but good, and I also own, it's right here actually, of course I had to buy it, but The Fork, The Witch, and The Worm, and I'll probably read this again, you know, it, it says Tales from Allegasia, Volume 1, Aragon, and I'm hoping that, you know, there are many more like this, I want more, I want to know what happens with the writers, and how they get rebuilt, and what happened to Aragon and Arya, if you're lazy, baby. more about Angela's past. I mean, it's just, oh, I love this. I can't stop. So yeah. So that's my reading list for TBR for the upcoming future. I will do my best to do a wrap up. I'm going to try to start using this little notebook. I have so many notebooks lying around. It's ridiculous. I just really love school supplies. Okay. Not ashamed. So I have plenty of pens and notebooks, and I'm going to try to basically start keeping a list. So for the month of September, I will just do, I'll just, whoops. <laughs> Anyways, I will just, like, I'm just going to write down, like, you know, September 2019, and then hopefully, I can't imagine I'll take up more than one page unless it's, like, insane, but, but like, I don't really think I'll read that many books, you know, it just... It's unlikely to happen, especially because my job is really busy right now and my mental energy is not 
very available. <laughs> um, excuse me. And that may change. My TBR may change as well. Like, not that I won't read the books on my TBR, but sometimes when my mental health is just dead, uh, I have to read books that I'm really familiar with. Tamora Pierce is one of my favorite authors. I own um, a lot of her Tortal, Tortal? I don't know how you say it. Uh, series, the Alana, the Dane, the Kaladri, the Alien, I own all of those. Becca Cooper, I'm not a huge fan of as much. Like, the first book was pretty good, but after that, meh. Uh, but I own all those four series, well, technically the second one is just two books, the fourth one is just two books, the Alien, but they're really big books, so, um, which makes sense how she split them up instead of into the four smaller ones. And then I also own Circle of Magic and the Circle Opens by Tamora Pierce as well. Again, I didn't really care for The Will of the Empress, um, but that's just me. I do love Tempest and Slaughter, which is about New Mare. I'm so excited for that series, let me tell you what. Um, yeah. But also, um, Patricia C. Reed, her, uh, Dragons trilogy, the... <laughs> Again, they're on my shelf, like, my, I have a big bookshelf right here, and so, like, all these books are staring at me right now, and I'm like, I want to read you all. <laughs> But there's Dealing with Dragons, Searching for Dragons. Oh, it's so light, I can't read it. Calling on Dragons and Talking to Dragons. There we go. <laughs> um, so that's another one. I also have a Once Upon a Time series. It's like a bunch of like mini books by, I think there's about three or four different authors, and there's just a bunch of fairy tale retellings, and I love reading those. There's one that's Jack and the Beanstalk slash uh, Robin Hood, which is amazing. I also love The Princess and the Pea one. Um, and I also enjoy, um, honestly, the Beauty and the Beast one isn't my favorite. Like, it's interesting, but there's just, like, so much time spent on the before they go to the be Beast that the time with the Beast is, like, it feels like it's gone, like, two seconds. Like, she hardly spends any time there, it feels like. So, that one I wasn't actually as fond of, but there's this one, let me see, it's about a girl who turns into a deer. The Rose Bride. That one is really cool. I enjoyed that one quite a bit, actually. That's one of the bigger ones, too. So, um, the Little Mermaid one is also very good. So, I have a lot of books that I've read before. Um, oh, I almost I did, I forgot one that I wrote down. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Uh, I read Spinning Silver, and I enjoyed it so much, but um, Uprooted is... I, I wanted to read it to remind myself of it again because it's it's been a while since I've read it. So I also wanted to read this because well, look at the artwork first of all. I mean both spinning silver. Don't mind me. I'm just coughing a mess. Both spinning silver and uprooted. Like look at those covers. I'm just looking at them and scream. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, I love them. I mean they're gorgeous. And gold and silver, I mean, oh it's which actually is kinda cool because the theme of this if you haven't read it, you need to read this. Like, go read it. Read it. Read it. I love it. I won't stop. You can't stop me. Anyways, I forgot to add that one to my TBR list, even though I wrote it down in my little fancy journal. Whoops. Anyways. Sorry. I tend to ramble. Anyways. That covers everything, I think. So... Hopefully I'll stick to my TBR. I will probably splatter some books in there. If I have like a hard day at work or something, I'll just need to read one of my books that's like really easy for my mind to just dip into because I've read it before. Some of these though I have read before, which will make it easier. Like the Aragon series, I've read that and listened to it too. So, um, you know, that'll be pretty easy for me. The the Darcy books were pretty easy for me to slip in and out of. Um, I actually, they were, like I said, they were gentle books. Uh, I don't know how better to describe it, but I, I could probably read those as well. And then I have read up Rudy, even though I don't remember it quite as well, so I think that one would be okay too. But yeah, so that's my plan. Hopefully it goes to plan. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not like wanting to stick to this. This is just books that I want to read in the new future. If I can get them all done in the month of September, that's great. If not, I'm not going to push myself. I have other books I want to read as well. These are just the ones that I'm most wanting to read right now. This may change. I don't know. I'm kind of like a feelings person when it comes to books sometimes, so if I need to read something and I have a specific desire, then I just can't read. Even if I want to, technically want to read something else, I can't read it until I fulfill that one desire. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I think I've rambled on for long enough now. Um, yeah, 
Yes, I have. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if there are any books that you want me to read, uh, any books that you've read that are great that you think I would enjoy as well. And uh, yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in a fairy tale series. I definitely want to do Beauty and the Beast. I know I mentioned that's my favorite, maybe Cinderella, but if there are any more that you would like to maybe see me look into doing a series for, let me know, because I, I love fairy tales and I like rereading their retellings. I like reading their retellings. There we go. I put the re in the wrong place. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day and keep reading your fairy tales.